Hello again, everybody. This is Steve Smith, editor of PHC News Magazine, coming to you live for uh, our last interview of AHR uh, 2022. And we've got our next guest is Michael Provenzano, the Global Marketing Director, Press Connections for Rigid. Michael, thanks for coming by. We're really excited to be here. I'm glad you are. I'm glad you could make it. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do at Rigid, and uh, can you put that? In mind? Absolutely. So I, I joined Rigid uh, as a product manager. I'm currently the director of marketing for our press connections category. Uh, really, my responsibility, my goal is to ensure that we've got products that are going to meet the needs of our end users. And oh, you've been at Rigid. Yeah. How, how long? How many years have you been at Rigid? I've been at Rigid uh, just over two years. Okay, so okay, maybe you said that. I'm sorry. To, yeah, I've been yeah. nervous too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I know Rigid's been around a long time, 100 years. Yeah. So you're doing something right. Yep. And you've been doing it right for a long time. What do you What do you see your role in the industry for at least for installing contractors? What yeah. What's What do you mean so, to them? So what's really important to us is that we provide products that make. Uh, the lives of our end users, our tradespeople, mm -hmm. uh, more effective, um, more efficient, and safer uh, in their roles. Uh, that's really at the core of what Rigid is all about. And when we think back to uh, almost 100 years ago, when we introduced that pipe wrench, yeah. it was the same thing. You know, at the time when they were connecting pipe, uh, you, you had tools that either didn't grab the pipe well or they broke under pressure. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we solved that problem. Uh, and it's the same way today. Mm -hmm. um, across press tools, across, across uh, you know, our pipe and electrical products as well, uh, that's really at the core of what we do. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of products we can talk about. I know you got some new ones at your booth here. Yeah. But before we get into that, I mean, I, I know Press Connections is... Uh, kind of the standard these days of yep. how to how to do things but you guys were the very first ones to bring yeah. it to north america so tell yep. us a little bit more about how yeah, that so came to be yeah press technology uh, originated in the late 80s in europe uh, yeah. there was a great amount of adoption there we recognize the value of press technology mm -hmm. again as uh, we think about our end users and productivity for them uh, press technology provides that productivity and that efficiency and and we recognize that we partnered with vega, vega. in 1999 to bring the technology to north North America. Yeah. Since then, uh, we've been very two, uh, two very close organizations. When you think about the the brand of Vega and the brand of Rigid, it's very similar in that we really pride ourselves on the quality of our tools and our fittings. Yeah. That's what's central to us, and and that's what's really important. And since then. Uh, we've had over 500 million successful connections when a rigid tool is used with a Vega fitting in North America. Okay. So it's been a really successful partnership uh, and we continue to work together very closely as yeah. we move forward. Uh, one of the things that we do when we bring products to market is we're testing our tools with their fittings, they're testing their fittings with our tools. Mm -hmm. um, so to some extent, we're getting two sets of eyes on these things and, and the amount of testing that goes into it between the two organizations mm -hmm. to ensure that we produce the highest quality products possible uh, is really amazing and remarkable. Yeah, good. Well, let's step back a little bit. I mean, does anybody solder pipe anymore? Absolutely. I mean, soldering's never going to go away. Yeah. As much as we would love it to go away, it's never going to go away. No. We recognize that. Um, but it is our goal to transition people uh, to press because yeah. we do believe and we know it saves up to 60% right. time. Right. Uh, it's it's much safer. You don't require burn permits. Uh, you can press on a wet connection. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, soldering won't go away, but the, every year more and more people have adopted pressing. Yeah. Any idea like the market share of Pressing versus soldering. I mean, I know it's lots of different ways of looking at that. Yeah, I think what? it depends on what you look at, yeah. uh, how you look at it. Uh, you know, and, and if you're looking at from a number of connections, yeah, it probably could be twenty to thirty percent. Uh -huh. um, if you're looking at the, the individuals that have tools, it's much, much more than that. Okay. And if I'm a contractor and I'm kind of stuck in my ways, what would you say to convince me to, hey, try, <laughs> try this newfangled press fitting? The reality is I've never heard somebody that started the press uh -huh. uh, regret that. Yeah. They, they recognize the investment on the first job site they're on that they make a connection with. And, yeah. and uh, as soon as we get a, a tool in their hand uh, and they're able to make a connection, they fall in love with it and they recognize that now I can either you know get home to my family earlier or yeah. I can get to my next job quicker. Yeah. And, and right. that's really what it's all about. Right. So now what's happening lately 
with press tools for you guys? There's been a lot happening lately. So mm -hmm. when we think about the last two years, we've launched three new press tools mm -hmm. in that time period, mm -hmm. which is just an enormous last amount of innovation. Last three years, yeah? Last two years, two three, years. three, three new, years, yeah, right. yeah. So the most recent one that we launched is the RP351 press tool. It's okay. an inline version of the RP350. Right. We launched the RP350 two years ago here at AHR, uh -huh. and uh, it's just been tremendously successful. The okay. feedback that we get from tradespeople has just been enormous. Okay. Um, and uh, the 351 is just a continuation of that. Okay. Um, it's all about productivity again, when we think about that. And what we heard from our end users in regards to the standard standard press tool line is that we want something that's going to uh, stand up to the, the, the requirements of our job and over a long period of time. So mm -hmm. what we did was we installed a brushless motor into the RP351 uh, and we updated other components so that that tool is going to be able to press over 100,000 cycles. So mm -hmm. no scheduled service required with these tools. Mm -hmm. um, and what we hear more often than not is that people love the 360 degree endless swivel that you get with this tool. Mm -hmm. um, again, being able to press in environments that you otherwise would not be able to do so mm -hmm. is is really important to us and that 360 degree swivel allows you to access tight spaces that otherwise you wouldn't be able to do yeah um, it has the best in class lighting and, and one thing that's really important to us uh, is uh, the ergonomics of the tool yeah, so we pride okay, ourselves yes. on on making sure that the tool is going to be comfortable in the yeah. hands of our end users yeah. uh, and reduce the strain on their muscles and how, how has the ergonomics changed I assume maybe you know, the early miles were pretty heavy, I yeah. get a guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Getting lighter and smaller difference? is always important. Yeah. But there's also things, features in our tools that we want to balance that. And we go out and we test that with with end users. But in terms of ergonomics, um, you know, we've the RP351 has a, a slim grip handle on it uh, that is an inch and one eighth shorter than any other inline press tool out mm -hmm. there uh, in the market. Mm -hmm. And that, that's a big difference. That allows the end user to have much more control over the tool. Uh, the weight is balanced on the tool. So even though the tool weighs seven pounds, um, it feels really light in your hand. Mm -hmm. So just so I understand, the RP351 is the new and improved version of the RP350 or? They're essentially the same tools. Yeah. It's kind of like the sister tool. Okay. Yeah, okay. It, it's same features as that. The only difference is it's an inline version versus a pistol grip right, version. Right, right. And the inline version versus pistol is just a, a matter of preference to the end user. Some okay. people love the pistol grip. Uh -huh. Some people love the uh, inline version. So you could theoretically like both of these as a contractor. Oh, right? yeah, we hear it all the time that yeah. they, people, we have out, plumbing outfits that carry both. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So press tools are one thing, but mm -hmm. you're known for quite a lot of other things. So outside <laughs> of press tools, what's, what's, what's new and exciting? Yeah, well, well, Rigid, we've been in, involved in a lot of things. Anything that relates to plumbing, we, we, you know, we've been involved in. And, and we're really excited to launch the PCT-400. Yeah. Uh, PCT-400 is a tubing cutter. Yes. It, it can cut up to four inch tubing. Um, so copper, Carbon uh, steel is it's just a remarkable tool. It's very portable, yeah. uh, easy to use. Uh, we also have the the PCS uh, 500, which is just an uh, amazing that's a, that's a tool. Pipe saw. Yes. Yeah, so this pipe saw. Uh, allows you to cut Schedule 40 uh, up to 10 inch yeah. pipe uh, in, in just over a minute. Wow. And, and it's been a really amazing tool. So uh, we also have a really broad range of products in uh, the drain cleaning uh, side of the business. Mm -hmm. And uh, we launched the Flex Shaft in 2019. Okay. That, the Flex Shaft has just been phenomenal addition to uh, our plumbers' uh, mm -hmm. trucks. And, and it's been really well recognized in the, the, uh, the market. We've actually launched two Additional. So okay. um, it used to be you could do up to two inch lines. Now you can do up to six inch lines okay. and go out 125 oh, wow. feet okay. uh, with the Flex Shaft product. So tell me. What's the secret of the flex shaft exactly that enables me to do this as a contractor? So the great thing about flex shaft is you get wall to wall cleaning. Mm -hmm. So y you can run a camera behind the line as you're, you're cleaning the line and you get wall to wall cleaning. You can see that pipe become clear and clean um, as you as you clean the drain. OK, and that was introduced, you said 2019. Yeah, the first one was introduced in 2019. Since then, we've launched two more. OK, so yeah. more more versions of the, yep. of the original. OK, yep. good, good. And I'm cu curious that the tubing cutter and the and the pipes are on display at your booth. We do. Yeah? Yep, we do have that. We also have one flex shaft there uh, to show as well. Okay. So anybody can stop by. 
And uh, I see in your notes that these are both portable. The tubing cutter and the power saw are, pipe saw are, are portable. So yep. I'm assuming that means lightweight. What, yep. what else does it they, mean? They're, they're lightweight, easy to get around. Okay. So when we think about tubing cutters and, and being able to uh, cut up to four inch tubing, yeah. um, there's not much out there that, that's really portable in terms of a powered tool. And, okay. and uh, to be able to have a light, compact tool to, to carry through a job site is, is really nice. And your notes say about uh, the pipe saw, the, the P PCS 500 pipe saw can cut 10 inch schedule 40 pipes. So, yeah. that, I mean, that's a lot. Yeah, it throws a decent amount of sparks. Yes, I bet, <laughs> I bet. And unfortunately, you said that's not on display no, here. Yeah, that's yeah, a lot. It's not that's today. A lot. You can't do that at a regular straight show, huh? Yeah, it's a little bit difficult. Right. We, we need the protective barriers yes. up for that one. Yes, <laughs> Very interesting. So. Yeah. Um, what else can we expect from Rigid in the year yeah. ahead? Yeah, so innovation has been... Let's talk about products first. So I want to talk about training as well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So um, in regards to training, so we have our Green Apple Labs from a Greenlee perspective. We have our training center in, in our, our Cleveland headquarters yeah. um, for Rigid, and we have a steady flow of individuals coming through those sites okay. uh, that really get to use all of our tools, and, and we have excellent excellent trainer, trainers mm -hmm. with a, mm -hmm. a ton of tenure mm -hmm. uh, that are able to walk them through how mm -hmm. to use all of our products. Okay. Um, and in terms of uh, you know what to expect from an uh, just in 2022, innovation has been at our core, um, and there's going to be a steady stream of innovation as we move forward. Okay. Um, so we acquired Greenly uh, in uh, 2018, yeah. uh, and they have a tremendous breadth of electrical tools, um, and to go along with the, the rigid brand and in the plumbing space. When you think about those two brands, they're they're very similar. That there's a lot of heritage to those brands, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of loyalty. Uh, from our customers and we'll continue to have innovation across those two brands mm -hmm. and, and lastly you know this will be the fifth year that we have rigid experience mm -hmm. so we're, we're going to invite a whole new batch of, of yeah. individuals up uh, to come through our uh, plant see how wrenches are made yeah. make their own wrench we're really excited uh, about that uh, I followed that when you've had it and you do a good good job on social media to promote that mm -hmm. uh, before and after I guess uh, how, how does that all work? How, how does a contractor get involved in something like that? Yeah, it's so like a, a, you know, pick a number, name out of a hat, or <laughs> how, do I, how do I do that? Well, it, it's it's not that simple. Um, we we want to invite the broadest. Um, set of individuals mm -hmm. um, so we have individuals from very diverse backgrounds yeah. that that we try to bring together uh, to really share the same wonderful experience that yeah. not many have the opportunity to, to do yeah um, so what what are they doing as part of the experience I, mean, I assume a factory tour and all that good stuff yeah but what, what else what, yeah what, so we'll walk them through our training center that uh -huh. and they'll get to see all of our products if there's any products that they haven't used they get an opportunity to do that they get to sit down with people like myself and other product managers marketers and, and interact with them we talk about new things that are coming out sometimes they get a little hint of things that mm -hmm. haven't been released yet mm -hmm. um, in regards to plan Tour, they get to see how their products are made and when yeah. you think about what that means to an individual where you know th their mother or father used the wrench years yeah. ago and right. they're still using that wrench today and yes. and now they get to see that that wrench being made and actually make their own it just means a lot to these individu individuals and it really means a lot to us too we're really yeah. thrilled to provide that experience and you mentioned you've got a new batch coming up what, what when when is that going to be announced i don't year? know do well know? so i don't I, I don't know when we're going to announce going to announce it normally it's a little bit later uh in the the summer time frame okay. uh, and the experience is going to be a little bit more towards fall uh -huh. um but we're certainly excited to announce that when when we get there good good I want to wrap up things, but I want to circle back to training because I don't yeah. think we covered everything about that. And I'm kind of curious, obviously COVID has impacted the traditional kind of classroom mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. your sales guys going out to a wholesaler or yeah. maybe a counter days or something. Yeah. What's what's happening? What How have you made that transition between yeah. you can't do this quite like you used to mm -hmm. and now it's but still need training? Yeah, it, it's, you know, it's been a challenge uh, for us. It's been a challenge for everyone, but uh, we've, we have a tremendous sales team uh, mm -hmm. that 
continues to connect with customers and, and end users that are out on job sites uh, via uh, web conference and, yeah. and phone calls. Um, and we're able to demo those tools through those means, uh, through our sales reps. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've done the same thing at the training center too. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the trainers that we have at that facility have done a, an enormous amount of, of conference calls uh, and, uh, and have done training across that. And mm -hmm. you know, we're excited to move forward and, and to move away from this and, and you know get back in front of people. Uh, and uh, I, I, I know we've updated our training center. Right. Uh, we have some updates to, to accommodate all the new innovations that, mm -hmm. that we have going in there. Mm -hmm. um, and, and our training team has been uh, having people in, but they're really excited to increase the amount of people that are coming through their doors once very again. Very good, very good. But no quite set plan. On, you're probably unable to, to say, okay, well, I'm Come on back to the training center. <laughs> we're doing that a little bit. Okay. And we are doing that a little bit today, and, and uh, we're, we're easing into it. Yeah. Um, but we're, we're looking forward to the day where we can, you know, just open the doors and let everyone come through like we've, we used to. Very good. Well, mm -hmm. that's a hopeful note to end it on, I think. Yeah. Because people I'm certainly do want to come back to that training center, I, I bet. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a great experience here. This yeah. is the first time where it's, it gives us the opportunity to be back in front of the faces of right. the people that we love to be in front of. And, right. and we're grateful to be here and, yeah. and we're grateful to sit down with you. So we Good. really appreciate it. Well, thanks again, Michael, for coming yeah. by and uh, I'll uh, stop by that booth. Yes, thank Cut you some very pipe. much. <laughs> All right, everybody, I think that wraps it up. This is the last interview for HR 2022. Oh. And I guess we're gonna come back in Atlanta next year and do the same thing. Thanks again.